World Geography, Themes of Geography, Part 1. Okay, so what I'll do is break this video into two. So there'll probably be about two 10-minute videos. So you'll have to do Part 1 and part, your notes guide will, um, they'll cover Parts 1 and Part 2. Let's get this started. Oh, went too far, went too far. Okay, geography. Geography, this is just a review, you guys. So what geography is, it is the study of the Earth's physical features and the living things that inhabit the planet. We already know what a geographer is. Uh, geographer is someone who studies geography for a living. And what we'll cover really briefly are the types of jobs that people, um, types of jobs that ge geographers do. Number one, um, an economic geographer. And I'll, I'll spend more time on the ones that will actually impact us in class. An economic geographer. These are people who, um, who study the economy of an area when we took, take a look at our special purpose maps and you see the types of the economic special purpose maps. This is the kind of person who will put that together. An environmental specialist. This is kind of big for us in our region because if you guys recall the oil spill they had, the big uh, BP oil spill a couple of years ago. They came out with all these studies saying that it would take the state of Louisiana, the environment, so long to recover. That is an environmental specialist. That is the type of a geographer who figured that out. Geographic education, geographic technology, human and cultural, physical geographer, regional geographer, urban and regional planning. We will spend a good bit of our class focusing on these last four. Human and cultural, physical geographer, regional geographer, and urban and regional planning two branches of, of geography. We already know this. Physical geography is the study of the Earth's physical features. The two branches of physical geography, um, I'm sorry, two branches of geography. Physical geography, what are physical features? This is it, man. Uh, landforms. The landforms are all of the naturally occurring formations on the planet Earth. So the definition of landforms, this definition, make sure you're writing this down. Landforms are all of the natural, naturally occurring formations on planet Earth. The reason I have this graphic of a mountain here is because that is an example of a landform. Mountains, uh, forests, canyons, cliffs, all of those things that, are that were created by nature. Those are examples of landforms. Bodies of water. That's another type of physical geography or physical feature. Um, bodies of water. These are just the, the bodies of water that occurred naturally on the planet Earth. The natural made lakes, rivers, oceans, and streams. An ecosystem. Let's spend a little bit of time on the ecosystem. An ecosystem is, it sounds really complicated, and I will kind of go over this graphic a little bit to break it down for you. I will first give you the technical definition, which is what I want you to write down, then I will explain it. Um, the ecosystem. What an ecosystem is, it is a complex community of living things in a given environment. So once again, an ecosystem is a complex community of interdependent, I-N-T-E-R-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, -E 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 interdependent living things in a given environment. Now, whoa, that sounds like a lot, right? I know what you're thinking. What an ecosystem basically is, if you guys go back to second grade, an ecosystem is basically like the food chain. Remember with the food chain going back, and I'll take a look at this picture. All right, Curse, here you go. So with the food chain, we'll think about there, look down here, there are algae, there are frogs who eat the algae or fish or whatever who eat the algae. Then there are animals who eat the fish. And then the animals, they, they lay waste or do whatever it is they do. But from their waste and feces, there's carbon dioxide, which goes to feed the plants, which goes to help the ecosystem. And it all goes around back in one big circle. So behind that comp, that definition for ecosystem, I want you just to put like the food chain from elementary school. Physical geography, going to what are the physical features, some more physical features. Another one is climate. Now, when we're taking a look at the climate, this graphic kind of illustrates, this is a map showing some of the different climate zones in these areas. And the only thing climate is, this is the definition, this is what I want you to write down. Climate is the normal weather patterns of an area. So climate is the normal weather patterns for an area. 
for we live in the state of Louisiana, so our normal weather the patterns for the state of Louisiana are that we it is very very hot, right? Very very hot, humid summers with a lot of rain, and very short winters. But on the flip side, if we took someone who lived um, in Antarctica, their climate would be very long, very cold, dry winters, and short summers. That is what life is normally like for them. It may change a little bit from year to year, but over the long term, your climate, the climate of a region remains the same. The next thing that brings us to is vegetation, and this graphic is up. What I want you to write down for vegetation is that vegetation is all of the plant life that lives in the area. So vegetation, once again, is all the plant life that lives in the area. And natural resources, this is something we will spend a little bit of time on, okay? So natural resources, the definition for natural resources are minerals or resources that occur naturally from the earth that human beings that we can use to make our lives easier. So once again, the definition for natural resources, natural resources or resources or minerals or things that naturally occur and come from the earth or come from nature that we as human beings can use to make our lives easier. What this graphic represents is a natural resource that we have in abundance here in South Louisiana, and that's oil. That is oil. That is the petroleum industry. So the petroleum industry is a natural resource that we have in, in Louisiana. is a natural resource. It is something that it occurs naturally in nature. It's something that we use to make, as human beings, our lives easier. Cultural geography. Moving right along to that, what human or cultural geography is, it is the study of human activities and their relationship to the cultural and physical environment. So, once again, cultural geography is the, the study of human activities and their relationship to the cultural and physical environment. Now, what exactly does that mean, right? Okay. Kind of listen up and you can write this down in parentheses if this helps you. The only thing this big word, this, these big words mean is that cultural geography studies how we as people change to fit our environment. That's it. That is it. Okay. How we as people change to fit our environment. What effect does our environment have on us? Do we, does it cause us to work in certain industries? Um, does it cause us to wear certain foods? Um, I mean, to eat certain foods? Does it cause us to um, wear certain clothes? Does it cause us to play certain sports? All those things that are affected by where we live, that is cultural geography. The definition for population, real simple one, is the number of inhabitants in a specific area. So the definition for population is the number of inhabitants in a, in a specific area. It's how many people live in the area. That's it. Now we're getting down to culture. And culture is one that we spend a lot of time on, so it will have an involved definition. We will have a lot, we've spent a lot of time on that this year. So I want you to write this down. Whoa, there's not the end. Okay, so culture. Culture is a way of life of a group of people who share beliefs and customs. So for the first part of the definition is culture is a way of life of a group of people who share similar beliefs and cultures and customs. Culture includes elements such as language, ethnic groups, religion, education, health care, history, government, and economy. Once again, culture includes Elements such as language, ethnic groups, religion, education, health care, history, government, and the economy. And I will give you the whole definition again. Culture is the way of life of a group of people who share similar beliefs and customs. And it includes elements such as language, ethnic groups, religion, education, health care, history, and the economy. 
That is the culture. And we will talk a lot about this going forward. And that is the end. So we'll pick up in part two, which should cover the rest of your notes in your notes, guys.